Hello, everyone. I'm so privileged to be here with you today, and I wanted to start by thanking Canada's creative community. You've demonstrated unbelievable resilience in the face of the unknown. Despite all of the challenges that each of you has faced, you've offered the rest of us hope and inspiration, and we're grateful. Each year around this time, we come together at the National Gallery of Canada with the Sobe Art Foundation to begin our annual celebration of contemporary visual artists across the country, the Sobe Art Prize. This year is no different. I'm here to tell you that we're announcing our long list of artists. That's 25 artists altogether, five from each of Canada's regions, the West Coast and the Yukon, the Prairies and the North, Ontario, Quebec, and the Atlantic provinces. Unlike years past though, we won't be going on to name a shortlist. There will be no single winner, nor will there be residencies, an exhibition, or a gala to celebrate it all at the end. Together with the Sobe Art Foundation, we've de decided to divert all the funds used to finance those initiatives towards the artists on the long list. That means that each of the artists named to the 2020 Sobe Art Prize long list will be granted a $25,000 prize. We hope that that prize will help them preserve their visual arts practice throughout these difficult times. I want to thank the Sobe Art Foundation for being a great partner, and I especially want to thank the 2020 Sobe Prize jury, curator José Drouin Prisois, and project manager Clément Lormand for showing remarkable leadership and empathy throughout our deliberations around the Sobe Prize. And I hope that the rest of you will take this moment to go to the gallery website, gallery.ca, explore that list of names and celebrate the extraordinary visual arts practice of each of those artists from across the country, a well-deserved award and recognition for every one of them. We have a lot to celebrate as a community and I think as you celebrate the practice of each of those artists, you'll see that we have a lot to look forward to as we look beyond COVID-19. Thanks all for joining me and thank you all for recognizing the extraordinary talent that we have in our country.